Welcome, viewers, to an exclusive exploration into the multifaceted life of the talented Jennifer Freeman. In this in-depth video, we delve beyond the spotlight that has illuminated her career, uncovering the layers that define her personal world. From the intricacies of her role as a wife and mother to glimpses into the place she calls home, we will navigate through the dimensions of her life, all while considering the evolving aspects such as age and net worth in 2024. But before we begin, we invite the audience to look back at her career journey, bringing laughter to audiences around the world. In the early 2000s, Jennifer Freeman captured global attention through her stellar performances on the cherished black sitcom My Wife and Kids. As the heart of the show, her radiant presence and undeniable skill hinted at a future filled with stardom. Anticipation was high for her to ascend the ranks of the entertainment industry and become an unstoppable force. However, after the curtains fell on my wife and kids in 2005, Jennifer's brilliance seemed to dim. Despite her continued dedication to her craft, she found herself taking on roles that gradually faded into obscurity. Fans were left wondering about the intriguing trajectory of this once prominent actress. As we explore Jennifer Freeman's journey, a complex tapestry of highs and lows unfolds, revealing the twists and turns since her days on My Wife and Kids. As of the year 2024, Jennifer Freeman boasts an estimated net worth of $1 million. Born as Jennifer Nicole Freeman on October 20, 1985, in the sun-drenched locale of Long Beach, California, she is not only recognized as an accomplished American actress but also as a spokesmodel of notable distinction. Jennifer's ascent to fame is firmly rooted in her portrayal of Claire Kyle, a character introduced in the second season of the beloved sitcom My Wife and Kids. This show, which successfully endeared itself to the hearts of many, served as the launching pad for her widespread recognition. The enigma surrounding Jennifer's foray into the world of acting adds an intriguing layer to her narrative. Although the catalyst for her journey remains elusive, her profound passion for the craft was kindled at a tender age. Remarkably, at the age of 15, she embarked on her on-screen odyssey, making her debut in the year 2000. Despite starting with modest roles, Jennifer quickly caught the attention of audiences with appearances in popular shows such as Seventh Heaven and Lizzie McGuire. In an industry where aspiring actors often labor in obscurity for years before achieving success, Jennifer Freeman defied conventional norms. Merely a year after her first on-screen appearance, Destiny Beckon, and she secured the pivotal role of Claire Kyle in My Wife and Kids. This character would become the guiding North Star shaping the trajectory of her burgeoning career. Seemingly in the blink of an eye, Jennifer transformed from a relatively unknown talent into a luminary of the small screen. Her time on My Wife and Kids not only brought her acclaim but also opened doors to new opportunities, concurrently paving the way for her cinematic journey. While still gracing the television screen with My Wife and Kids, Jennifer expanded her presence to the silver screen with notable productions like You Got Served and Johnson Family Vacation. Her star was ascending rapidly, and her name was destined to be etched in the annals of stardom. However, as fate would have it, the road ahead held unforeseen twists and turns, challenging the very essence of her dreams. As the final curtain descended on my wife and kids in 2005, Jennifer's stellar trajectory began to dim. Despite subsequent roles in various films, her cinematic endeavors failed to recapture the enchantment that had defined her career during the sitcom's heyday, leading to a significant decline. This predicament is a well-documented challenge in the entertainment industry, particularly when an actor becomes closely associated with a single character for an extended period. The arduous task of transitioning into new roles played a pivotal role in Jennifer's career struggles. Nevertheless, the narrative takes a compelling turn when delving into the labyrinth of Jennifer's life during a pivotal moment when she decided to take a hiatus from her career. Venturing into a personal odyssey marked by love and motherhood, she found herself entangled in a romantic relationship with former professional basketball player Earl Watson. Their love story flourished, culminating in a joyous union in 2009, and the couple was blessed with a child. However, beneath the surface of their seemingly blissful life, ominous clouds gathered, casting a shadow over their relationship. In 2010, a storm of allegations engulfed Jennifer as she faced accusations of assaulting Earl. This turbulent chapter thrust their private affairs into the harsh spotlight of public scrutiny, tarnishing the once idyllic facade of their love story. The tempestuous challenges within their relationship proved insurmountable, ultimately leading to the heart-wrenching decision to part ways in 2015. 
The love story that had once held promises of enduring bliss took an unforeseen and tragic turn. Underscoring the unpredictable nature of life's twists and turns. In 2019, Jennifer bravely unveiled a previously concealed chapter of her life, sharing her ongoing battle with depression with courage and candor. Speaking openly to Madame Norway, she illuminated a deeply personal and often stigmatized aspect of her existence. The words she shared echoed with raw authenticity, laying bare the inner turmoil that had haunted her for the majority of her life. I wanted to share with you guys something I've struggled with most of my life. And that is loving myself. I have been on a journey to loving myself for a while now. I just really got to a point in my life where I was really depressed. I just hated myself. I hated my life. I felt so alone. I just didn't understand why my outside didn't match up with how I was feeling inside. I just really couldn't pull myself up out of it. I just asked God why do I feel like this? Why do I hate myself so much? And why don't I feel comfortable in my own skin? And he really took me on this process to restoring my identity. Jennifer's heartfelt words not only resonate with those who have faced similar struggles but also with anyone who has grappled with the intricate complexities of self-love and identity. In 2018, she further diversified her accomplishments by venturing into the realm of literature. Embracing the role of a published author, Jennifer entered uncharted waters in storytelling with the release of her debut book. In November 2023, Jennifer Freeman made a noteworthy real estate investment by purchasing a residence in Los Angeles for $700,000. The property, boasting an expansive 2,199 square feet, is nestled in the heart of West Hills. This captivating house unfolds a tale of charm and allure as it welcomes visitors with a picturesque white picket fence enveloped in flowering vines. The air carries the refreshing fragrance of lemon and orange trees, setting a delightful ambiance. Stepping inside, one is greeted by soaring vaulted ceilings above luxurious wide plank floors, infusing the main living area with timeless sophistication. The residence offers a seamless flow for entertaining, featuring an open dining space and a fully equipped kitchen adorned with modern appliances, white cabinets, and a convenient breakfast bar. With five bedrooms in tow, including two with en-suite bathrooms and private terraces, the property ensures a comfortable and elegant living experience. The allure continues outdoors with a backyard that boasts a covered terrace equipped with ceiling fans, misters, and ambient lighting, extending gracefully over the pool and into the spacious grounds. This versatile home, complemented by alley access, presents numerous possibilities for multi-generational living, rental income, or dedicated workspace. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the property is designed to cater to various lifestyle needs, making it a valuable and adaptable investment. Just one month after her purchase, Jennifer Freeman took a strategic step by renting out the property for $7,000 a month. The tenant adding a touch of celebrity to the narrative is none other than actor Noah Gray Cabby. This move not only demonstrates business acumen on Freeman's part but also adds an intriguing layer to the story of this residence, transforming it into a hub where real estate meets the glitz of Hollywood. My audience, the story remains as I turn my perspective to the business sector. A notable facet of Freeman's business endeavors is her role as a spokesperson for the renowned skincare brand Neutrogena, a position that underscores her credibility and influential status in endorsing their products. Leveraging her trusted image in the realm of entertainment, Freeman's endorsements have significantly contributed to Neutrogena's ability to reach a broader audience and solidify its standing in the competitive market. Taking her involvement with Neutrogena to the next level, Freeman initiated her own campaign for the brand. This campaign specifically targets fresh young faces, reflecting her commitment to empowering and inspiring young individuals to embrace their natural beauty. In doing so, Freeman not only aligns herself with a reputable brand but also champions a cause close to her heart, emphasizing her passion for uplifting others and promoting positive messages. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.